Sabrina Bartlett has described the exploration of sex in Bridgerton as wonderful unbridled, shameless and liberating, as she prepares for her new role in ITV's Darling Buds of May reboot alongside actor Talk Steven. The actress, 30, who portrayed Sienna Rosso in the hit Netflix drama, found the sex scenes to be both empowering and hilarious. During an interview with Tatler, she also discussed her dynamic with her on-screen lover Anthony Bridgeton, played by Jonathan Bailey. Layer up in Sabrina's cardigan by in degrees 21 785 pounds and degrees 21 oversized cardigan make it yours by now the change in season calls for a wardrobe refresh. And providing today's dose of inspiration is Sabrina Bartlett. The actress looked lovely in lilac as she posed for Tetler, wearing a N Degrees 21 cardigan and Mi Umi U dress, styled by Sophie Perra. This gorgeous cardigan combines an oversized silhouette, open front and fluffy mohair finish. Imagine how fabulous it would look with mom jeans and trainers. To our delight, Sabrina's knitwear is available to buy online. So, if you're keen to copy, click the image to buy it ASAP. Alternatively, emulate the look in a similar style by I Saw It First, Monkey, Shine or Acne Studios via the carousel. Mail Online may earn commission on sales from these product links. Now get one like it previous next 35 pounds I saw it first cardigan by now 29 pounds monkey cardigan at Zalando by now 18 pounds. 99 shine cardigan by now 410 pounds acne studios cardigan at my Teresa by now as she posed for the October issue with her new co-star talk, she said of Bridgerton's attitude towards sex, it felt like this wonderful unbridled shameless exploration of sex that we haven't seen before, which I found so liberating. She added that she remains really good friends with Bridgerton co-star Jonathan, 33, as their scenes in the bedroom haven't affected their relationship. Sabrina also hinted that she will be returning to the show in the future as she teased, maybe not season 2, but potentially season 3. For the meantime, the actress is focused on The Larkins, ITV's reinvention of the hip 90s comedy drama, The Darling Buds of May, set on a Kent farm in the 1950s. Commenting on the new production, she said, if we could provide the warmth and escapism that people so badly need, we would all feel very proud. Meanwhile her co-star talk added, hopefully, people are going to love going to Kent and the Larkins farm every Sunday. We've just spent the past year dealing with a lot. Sabrina recently returned from a sun-soaked vacation with fellow Bridgerton actress Phoebe Dinover who has reportedly split from comedian Pete Davidson. The pair beamed for a social media photo as the blue ocean stretched out behind them, with Sabrina looking stylish in a pink slip dress and black and white bikini. Phoebe captioned the glowing snap uploaded to her Instagram, belly full of wine, hair full of salt. The holiday came amid reports that Phoebe and Pete, 27, have reportedly called it quits on their romance after five months of dating. The star and comedian were last seen together in the UK in July, with them putting on a loved-up display at Wimbledon. However a source has now claimed that the duo have gone their separate ways after trying to make things work long distance put a strain on their relationship. A source told The Sun, Pete and Phoebe's romance was a real whirlwind and from the start they were both totally committed. Out now. Read Sabrina's full interview in the October issue of Tatler It was pretty telling when Phoebe headed to Croatia with her mates this week rather than going to see Pete in America. It was wild while it lasted. 
but the distance has put a strain on them. They will remain close but unless something drastic changes their relationship won't recover. The source continued that both of the stars have very busy schedules at the moment, with Phoebe filming Bridgerton Series 2 in the UK and Pete working on Saturday Night Live in the US as well as filming a movie called Meet Cute. It is also thought that travel restrictions have added a further pressure to their romance as it isn't easy to just jump on a plane and see each other. Mail Online have contacted Phoebe and Pete's representatives for further comment. See the full feature in the October issue of Tatler available via digital download and on newsstands now.